The island of Sodor is surrounded by beautiful blue sea. It has fields of green and sandy yellow beaches. There are rivers, streams and lots of trees where the birds sleep. There are windmills and a coal mine and docks where visitors to the island arrive. The island also has lots and lots of railway lines. Who's that puffing down the track? It's Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the island of Sodor. Emily helps with. Emily is a grand green engine. She is very proud of her big wheels, the shiny brass dome, and her perfect polished paintwork. One morning, Emily was very excited. The fat controller had chosen her to be one of the engines to drive a new engine and car wash at Armand Valley. This is going to be the best wash ever, she puffed to herself. She was excited. Emily met Thomas at a junction. He had a message for her. It was from the Fat Controller. The Fat Controller wants you to go and find Riff, whistled Thomas. It's time for its wash down. Uh, if I must, sighed Emily, and she puffed her way to the valley to find Riff. When Emily arrived at the valley, there was Bill and Ben and Riff. They were playing in the muddiest mud they had ever been in. Hello Emily, whistled Riff. Have you come to join us? Now, said Emily, I've come to take you to the washdown. The fat controller wants you to get clean. He's got something to tell us all. And they puffed off. Gordon was talking to James and Henry in the siding. When they saw Emily with Riff at the washdown, they laughed and laughed. I'm sorry you have to be with your friends, Emily, and that you had to get me for being washed, but I love getting mucky! <laughs> Don't marry Riff, said Emily, but soon we'll be able to wash ourselves. What do you mean? asked Riff. That's what I'll visit for, whistled Packer. And he rolled into the yard with trucks of steel beams, solar panels, and rollers. Wow! Got the big engines. What's that? Wow! It's an engine wash, explained the fat controller. It's going to be built in Armand Valley. That's right, said Sally. So whenever we get all mucky, we can go through and get cleaned. Bubble wash, rinse, and blow it dry. Gordon, James and Henry were very excited. They couldn't wait to try new engine and car wash, but Riff was worried. He was worried that if he go for the engine wash, he will never get dirty ever again. Then the fat controller turned to Emily. Emily, I want you and Riff to collect some soil from the building site. And he left. After the fat controller left, Gordon came from Henry Sniffy. Hope you have fun with your smelly new friend, Emily, whistled James. We'll smell you coming for miles, wished Gordon grandly. <laughs> but what about engine washers? asked Riff. Will it be any useful to us when we want to get dirty? <laughs> no way, laughed Henry, and it will suit you. Phew! <laughs> Emily had had enough. Stop it! shouted Emily and maced away as fast as she could. Riff was very worried. What am I going to do? he asked the truck. I don't want to be a clean engine. I want to be Riffy Riff. Then he had an idea. And I'm going to be Riffy Riff. And he chuffed off after Emily. Sally was cross. It's not nice to make new comments about friends. You've hurt Emily and Riff's feelings. Jeez, we're only having fun, said James. 
Oh, we'll say sorry to them later, Doth Gordon. Now I have to collect the express. <laughs> Careful you don't burst your safety valve, T.S. Kane. Remember when you pulled a five coach express? This may go on cross. Well, at least I don't make a hole in one of our coaches, Doth Gordon. But at least I don't fall into dirty ditches because I have to pull a good strain, Snap Kane. Um, <laughs> I think we'll just move on from that. At the landfill site, Emily shunned to put trucks nearby, ready to be unloaded. She didn't want to do this job at all. Just then, Whiff pulled up alongside her. Hehe, <laughs> I'm Whiff. Whiff the miffy and muckiest engine. And no engine or car is gonna change that. And he reached steam. But it accidentally blew mud all over Emily. Poor Emily. She had had enough. I must get away from Riff, she huffed. Emily pumped her pistons. Wait for me, was the Riff. But Emily wasn't going to wait for Riff. It's not my fault if you can't keep her, she huffed. Later, Emily had to wait for Elizabeth at the crossing. Where's your smelly friend? Hon Elizabeth grandly. Um, I think he got lost, reached Emily. No, I didn't, whistled Riff cheerfully. Hello! Oh! Sniffed Elizabeth. Aren't you going to introduce me to your friend this time? But Emily didn't want anything more to do with Riff. She puffed away as fast as she could. Wait for me, whistled Riff. <laughs> 